Well, hello everyone. Thanks for waiting all day long. <laughs> I guess it's been a very long day, but uh, my name is Felipe Bonelli, and I work in this office, Viticultura and Viticultura Asociados, researching and advertising of viticulture and viticulture. <coughs> and I'm here to talk about uh, the experience that we have on table grape roosters in Chile. Okay. So, a commercial fruit tree is formed from two individual symbiotic unions, roosters and variety. And a finished grafted plant starts by the process of grafting and passing through a heating room, planting on field nursery or greenhouse to get the final plant. Rookstock gives the root system which provides its own character that could be partially modified by the science action. And this one suffers modification from the rooster action also. Okay. Okay. So most of the rooster we use in these days in the whole world are coming from the crossing or breeding from the following species. Vitis rupestris, Vitis verlandieri, Vitis ribaria, and Vitis champini. And so, and a few rootstocks also come from the combination of or crossing of these species, Slowly. crossing but Vitis vinifera. <laughs> So these f five species are the base or mother of the all the roosters we use these days. So a little of history, probably, probably you know it better than me. But in the 1800s, in Europe, uh, they didn't use rooster in those times, but they went, the botanical from Europe went to North America looking for some new varieties. But, and they brought back phylloxera to Europe accidentally, and phylloxera caused a lot of damage and almost destroyed all the viticulture, not only in Europe, but in other countries too. Uh, في التسعينيات القرن الماضي أو في أول القرن التسعة عشر اللي فات تمنتاشر أو تسعة عشر مش مش فاكر كويس تمنتاشر ليه؟ في ألف مية الأوروبيين هاجروا وراحوا أمريكا وبعد ومعاهم بيدوروا على أصناف جديدة وهم راجعين رجعوا معاهم بحشرة مضرة أوي اسمها الفيلوكسرا دي اللي هي بتاكل لي جذور من تحت بتموت لي العلب اللي هو مش على الأصول خاصة يعني وبعد كده انتشرت الفيلوكسرا من اوروبا لباقي دول اسيا وافريقيا. If I go too fast, just let me know. Yes, you are fast. I go slowly. Um, so, Europeans went back to North America looking in the region, the phylloxera, for new uh, species that can resist the phylloxera. بعد كده الاوروبيين رجعوا تاني لامريكا بيشوفوا حاجه يعني مقاومه للفيلوكسرا دي اللي هم خدوها قبل كده. 
So they brought back these new species for Europe and they weren't resistant to carbonate, so they weren't as good as they wanted to. So they went back again to North America and found other species and they get different selection from the crossing of all these species and this time they get a lot of selections and new rootstocks. أصناف مضادة أو أصول مضادة للفيلوكسرا وواجهوا مشكلة تانية اللي هي الكربونات والبيكربونات اللي موجودة فرجعوا تاني لأمريكا وخدوا أصناف تانية وعملوا منها كروس وخدوا منها أصول تانية كتير. So the good selection they made uh, they spread it out and they take them to different countries. وبعد كده انتقلت الأصناف الأصول دي أو الباقي دول المختلفة. But we didn't get any rootstock in Chile because we didn't have any phylloxera. So it was easier for, for us to work with own root plants than work with the whole process of grafted plants. In the 1900s, in North America, they started to have some problems with young vines, especially damage caused by nematodes. <coughs> so they were developing, uh, especially Vitis champion selection resistance to nematodes, and they had a lot of a few rootstock, and they took this rootstock to Mexico, and finally we got some good rootstock in Chile. <laughs> Only 20, 15 or 20 years ago. So in Chile is a new thing. If you compare it with the rest of the world. So these four mother species, it is Berlandieri, it is Champigny, it is Riparian, it is Rupestris, performance differently against the different soils problems and by antagonists like phylloxera or nematodes or anything. <laughs> Being Vitis Champini, the most vigorous one, and Rupestre is the less vigorous. And the rootness, facil rootness facility is different in the species, so the selection scrumming from these two will be easier <coughs> to get produ plant productions in the nurseries, and it will be, it will be different than all the selections coming from these species. 101, 14, 303, 09 are two rootstock, very easy to produce in the nursery, but Ramsey or Salt Creek or any other rootstock coming from these two species will be very difficult for the nurseries to, to get good plants. And the deepness of the root system of the different uh, species is very different. So these two will be very deep and these other two will be very shallow root system. So the drop tolerance will be different too. These ones, these ones will, will explore more volume of soils and water. 
in the deepness of the soil. Another thing is that all the species will have different cycle, annual, annual cycle uh, of growing during the season, shorter or, or larger. So uh, these two will mature the leaves and canes and shooting in the autumn very early, and this all and Berlandieri, for example, will be mature their leaves very late in the season. So the frost tolerance is different because these two will be better prepared for the frost in autumn than the other one. <laughs> الاثنين اللي تحت دول بيحصل لهم نضج بسرعة فالاثنين اللي تحت دول ممكن لو جه برد مثلا في وقت الربيع ولا حاجه ممكن يتاثروا بال بال بالبرد في وقت الربيع لكن الاثنين اللي فوق مقاومتهم للاستقيع او للبرد تبقى اكبر شويه ان انسو روت ستوكس كامين فروم ذيس تو ا ذا فروت ويل ماتور فيري ايرلير ذان ذا اذر وانز for example, 1014 can mature the fruit two weeks earlier than a Richter with the same variety. 1114? <laughs> Uh, the same Rupestris and Berlandieri will have a deeper root system than Riparia, so uh, drought tolerance will be different, and that's because the geotropism angle of the genetic of the species. Uh, uh, the rough tolerant rootstock like Ramsay or Ruggeri will have very thick uh, roots and uh, not rough tolerant like Riparia or 1014 again. They will have uh, a lot of fine roots, so they will be very different. That's why the rough tolerant is behavior is very different. With no water. Uh, graft tolerance? Draft, no water, no Draft. rain. Draft. 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 So, as a summary, uh, we have the five species we just named, and crossing uh, any of those species, we, they were having different selections. 1114, 3309, coming from British Ripari and British Rupestris, are rootstock with less vigor than the rest of the rootstock and with very shallow root system. On the other side, the 1114, and the other side, the 3309, they are coming from the two مش مش عميق سطحي والحصاد بيساعد ان هم يستخدموا الحصاد بتاع المحصول اللي هم المتركب عليه بيجي بدري وهم مش اقوى يعني مش 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 قويين قوي النمو بتاعهم بيساعدهم ان الحاجه اللي متركبه عليها تكون قويه النمو قوي. And the maturity of the fruit is very early. والحصاد بتاع المحصول اللي هو مركب عليه بدري قوي. This other group Richter, Ruggeri, Porsen, coming from Rupestris, cross by, uh, with Berlandieri, is the opposite. Very deep roots, very vigorous ones, and the maturity will be delayed. Delayed. دول جايين من اب من اثنين تانيين البيتاس روبريتست والبيتاس برلانديري برلانديري 
دول اقوى شويه في النمو والحصاد بتاع الصنف اللي متركب عليه متاخر. We have this other group, intermediate vigor, uh, but we have seen in Chile they are very good for nematodes, especially these two. And we have more combination, but the ones we more use in Chile are coming from American rootstocks, uh, coming from Vitis Champigny. Ramsey is a selection of Champigny, and Freedom and Harmony is a crossing from Champigny and 1613 Kuder. So knowing how the parents of the rootstocks behave, we could understand how any of the selections uh, will behave too. So this is the list of the all the roots that we use in Chile. All of them are more than a hundred of years old and coming mostly France and USA. And from USA, Freedom, Harmony and Ram Ramsey are the ones we, uh, we more used in Chile. Uh, the most used rootstock in Chile are Freedom, Harmony, Ramsey, all American rootstock, because they are more vigorous. And less demanding rootstocks are from Europe, Richter, SO4, and Poison. So do you use any of these rootstocks? All of them? No, not all of them. Not Richter. The Freedom, the Harmony, the Ramsey, Richter, the Borson. Not Richter, the 99. Perfect. Good to know. So in Chile, we have almost 55,000 hectares of table grape uh, hectares. So in these years, we, uh, we have official statistics that we have almost 10,000 hectares over rootstock. The rest is on roots. <laughs> So the experience in Rustock in Chile is very new. But <laughs> this is the official numbers coming from the 70% of the vineyards, uh, the nurseries, the vine nurseries. So if we plus 30%, we think and we extrapolate that we'll have maybe 12,000 hectares of rootstock in Chile. 16 or 12? 12 uh, plus 4,000 the years before, before that, maybe 16, but that's not official. 16,000. And 80% of those rootstock are free on a harmony, followed by Ramsey and just a little bit 80%. Freedom and harmony. Freedom and Freedom and harmony. Freedom and harmony. Yes. We can discuss it. 